Hi there everyone, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Tom, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own simple cranky theatre out of items that you should hopefully be able to find around your house. Cranky theatres are often used by storytellers and folk musicians to add an extra visual element to their work. You can tell all sorts of stories with crankies, big or small, so let your imaginations run wild and I'm sure you'll come up with ideas that are out of this world, such as the example cranky I'm showing now, which is called Blast Off. Anyway, without further ado, let's get making. The things you'll need for this activity are as follows. A cereal box, a pair of scissors, a pencil and a ballpoint pen, a long strip of brown paper, you can often get some good bits in any package deliveries that you've received, or you could use regular A4 paper and stick all of the little pieces together at a later stage. Some Yoohoo all-purpose adhesive, although you could probably use any type of glue if you haven't got this one to hand. A ruler, sellotape, two M5 nuts, although they don't have to be that exact size, so feel free to use anything around that area. If you're struggling to find nuts, you can try using pen lids or sandwich a few layers of cardboard together, poke a hole through the centre and sort of fashion your own nut out of that. Two elastic bands, two pencils or chopsticks, and then pencil crayons or pens to decorate. Some additional useful materials that I haven't included in the photo are masking tape and double-sided sellotape, although you can just use regular sellotape if that's what you've got. And the final thing is a cloves peg from your washing line. So the first thing you want to do is cut open your cereal box and trim either the front or the back panel until you're left with a nice section of cardboard to work with. Then draw out this template using the following measurements provided. Once you've drawn out the template, score over your lines with a ballpoint pen. This will make it easier to fold at a later stage. Mark the top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right lines of your template in another pen colour. In the example, they've been marked in dotted orange and blue. Take your scissors and cut along these marked lines. Now it's time to mark out the spot where the pencils will be placed. On the top central tab of your template, measure 2cm from the top and 2cm from the side. Make sure to do this on both the left and right hand side. Then use a sharp pencil to push a hole through on both sides so that your template looks like this. Flip the template over and on the bottom central tab measure 2cm from the bottom and 2cm from the side. You can see these measurements marked with blue and orange pen in my example. Take your two small nuts and glue them right onto the top of the measurements you've just made. Yoohoo takes about 20 to 30 minutes to dry out completely, so this is a good time to go and get yourself a brew. Once the glue's dried, fold the small tabs on the bottom section of your template inside and attach them to the side panels using sellotape. Then take your two pencils and elastic bands, attach one elastic band to each pencil and wrap it around several times. Move the band down to the bottom half of the pencil, then push the pencils through the holes in the top of your template. Make sure that the tips of the pencils fit right into the centre of the hole in the nut, so that they're secure and can't move around too much. This will make your cranky scroll nice and stable. Finally, fold down the small tabs on the top section of your template inside, and attach them to the side panels using sellotape. And with that, your cranky box is complete. Now it's time to look at the cranky scroll. Use a ruler and a pencil to mark out the width of your scroll, which would be 5.5cm as shown in the photo. Use scissors to cut out your cranky scroll. Remember, you can always make your scroll longer later on if you need more space to finish your story. Now for the fun part. Come up with a story and start sketching it out using a pencil. You can tell any story with a cranky, but if you're struggling to come up with an idea, think about stories that involve a journey of some sort. For example, a bicycle race or Phileas Fogg on his round the world adventures. Stories that have lots of movement and pace work very well for crankies, as do traditional fairy tales and fables like the Three Little Pigs or the Tortoise and the Hare. As you can see with my example, I ended up running out of space, and in the end I needed three scrolls of brown paper to finish my story. On one end of each scroll where I knew I'd have to join them, I left a little gap, 
so that I could overlap the paper, which would make it a lot easier later on to attach them together. Once you're happy with your story, colour it in however you choose. I opted for pencil crayons. When it came to joining the ends of each scroll together, I decided to use double-sided sellotape. But if you don't have any, you could always use regular sellotape and stick it over the front of your drawing once it's completely finished. Make sure to line both scrolls of brown paper up so they join as straight as possible or your cranky might end up a little bit wonky. As a finishing touch, I used some fine line pens to add outlines and shading to my drawing. If you don't have access to any of these sort of pens, you can still achieve a very similar effect by using a regular ballpoint pen. With your drawings now done, the only thing left to do is attach our scroll to the cranky theatre. Place a piece of masking tape on the edge of your scroll so there's an overhang. Then using the overhang of the masking tape, attach your scroll to the pencil. You can use sellotape for this, but it will be a lot more tricky to remove your scroll without damaging it if you ever wanted to make another scroll for your cranky theatre. Repeat this process on the other end of your scroll until both edges are attached. To wind your cranky, start at the very end of your story. Use the pencil on the right hand side to wind the scroll up and guide the paper with your left hand. Try to keep the tension on the scroll so it winds up nice and neatly. And with that, your cranky is pretty much complete. It's optional, but you can add a clothes peg onto the pencil on the left hand side as this makes it a little easier to wind your story when you're performing it. I've also used a little bit of masking tape in the photo just to keep the right side pencil from madly spinning around and the scroll losing all of its tension. When this does happen, you can just wind it up again. Now that all of the making's finished, think about how you could perform the story that you've just drawn. You could accompany your cranky as a narrator, sing a song a cappella, have some music playing in the background, or just perform the cranky on its own. There's plenty of options, so have a play and see what works best for you. And there you have it. Hopefully everything has gone to plan and you've just successfully built your first simple cranky theatre. Congratulations and I hope you have lots of fun sharing your stories with friends and family. If you get a chance, make sure to send some photos or a video of your finished cranky to Z Arts, as I know myself and the rest of the team would love to see your creations in action. You can find links to our social media platforms in the description of this video. Thanks to Z Arts for helping to fund this creation, and thank you to all of you for watching today. If you'd like to see a full version of the Blast Off Cranky I've shown in the background, keep on watching till the end. But from me, that's all for now, so take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye. Yeah, let's go for our